You'll begin by using the New Design from File tool to open the pry bar Fusion Archive file. Once the file is open, save it to your current project. The pry bar design is a simple, stamped piece of steel with another component that will be used as a pivot to bend it around. Switch to the Simulation Workspace and select Nonlinear Static Stress. Conducting a nonlinear static stress study is essentially the same process as a linear static stress study, but the material is different. Instead of the study being focused on finding what the yield point is for the material, the nonlinear analysis will go beyond that yield point and take a look at the material as an elastic material or as a plastic material or when it transitions from being an elastic material that will return back to its original position and shape or a plastic material that will be permanently deformed. We'll begin the process in the same way by selecting a study material. This time, you'll switch the material library to the Fusion 360 nonlinear material library and select the steel standard structural for the pin and steel stainless for the pry bar. With these study materials selected, choose the properties icon in the upper right. This will expand the dialog and allow you to click and view the advanced properties. In the material browser, select the edit icon next to steel stainless. This will expose the properties of the material, and going to the Physical tab, you can go to the Advanced Properties. In this tab, you can choose what the material model is, what the behavior is, and what type of material it is. For the study, select Elastoplastic. This will give you the plastic parameters and the ability to change the hardening rule, as well as the yield function and what the yield criterion is. We'll select OK, knowing that we now have an elastoplastic material for the pry bar. Next, we'll set the contacts in the same way you would set them for any other static stress, placing a fixed constraint on the end of the pry bar and on the pin. Next, we'll choose the loads, selecting the faces interior to the slot on the end of the pry bar. You'll use the angle overrides to set the force normal to the main surface of the pry bar. Then change the units to pounds of force and set the value at 4. For the next phase, we'll want to use automatic contacts, but by default, Fusion 360 places bonded contacts automatically. So you'll need to go to Manage Contacts and change the bonded contact to a sliding contact. This will allow the pry bar to separate from the pin as well as slide on it if necessary. The last step will be to set the mesh. Let's use an absolute size of 2 millimeters. Now you can solve the nonlinear problem. A nonlinear static stress solution can only be done on the cloud. This is a simple example, but the calculations required for a nonlinear solution are far more advanced than a linear static stress study. We'll begin to solve the study. When the study is complete, we'll see that the safety factor is fairly reasonable. We can select the 2D chart icon next to the steps and compare the charts for safety factor stress, displacement, and on all of them we see that the behavior of the material is consistent and linear, graphing the stress and displacement with a straight line. Now clone the study and update the load. Instead of 4 pounds of force, make it 40 pounds of force. Then rerun the study on the cloud. This time when the results return, we'll see the safety factor is very minimal. We'll see the display of the model shows that it's very distorted. 
Opening the 2D chart of the displacement, the very first segment is a nice linear transition, which changes sharply and begins a curve. Switching to stress, you'll see that the stress is applied to the model in a curve. This is nonlinear behavior. The strain looks very much like the displacement as it's focused on the surface. If you display an animation of the result, you'll see the area of the bend near the pin is in a more concentrated area instead of that bend being reflected in a larger portion of the body.